As we approach National Burger Day, which is coming up this Sunday, we are exploring the reasons why hamburgers are the most perfect food. One man who believes that wholeheartedly is Philip Blackerby from Wayback Burgers in Greenville. Welcome, glad you're here. Thank you. Happy Hamburger Week. Thank you. Really <laughs> glad you're here. Um, first, talk about your love of burgers and the experience that you want guests to have when they visit you. Well, hamburgers are the great American food. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, we all enjoy hamburgers this time of year. We love yeah. to get out the grill. And uh, this is a week just to celebrate our all American food and the diversity that you can get in hamburgers. You can do so much with a burger, and you've brought a delicious looking spread of burgers here, starting with uh, what's the first one right there? Is this yeah. the one I'm going to sample? It is. That's uh, called our Big Easy. This mm -hmm. is a New Orleans style burger. It has our own Cajun Remoulade sauce on it, lettuce, tomato, pepper jack, cheese, and bacon. And mm -hmm. the bacon makes everything better. Uh, we usually serve that with a tot or a Cajun tot if people like something spicy. That's and, wonderful. Uh, yeah. And that one, that one's an overall favorite if somebody's That's just never favorite. gotten one before. <laughs> That's your favorite. The next burger that you love, I mean, you could have brought 20 of them, I'm sure, but this one in the middle. What yeah, do you have there? so this right here is called a Carolina. It's named after us, and it's a chili cheeseburger. Many people here love it. This one has uh, uh, mustard. Uh, onions, cheese, slaw, and chili, of course, on it. Two patty burger there. Uh, we sell a lot of those to people in the Carolinas. I bet. And then people celebrate burgers, you know, every day of the year. But right now, people are really into it, and I'm sure um, you, you get extra love on, on this burger month. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Especially Sunday. Uh, we'll be offering our promotions uh, at our stores around the, uh, around the hamburgers on actual hamburger day. Um, so, yeah, we get a lot of love this, this time of year. Well, it seems like between these burgers, you can't go wrong with something that's cheesy. This one back here oh, is yeah. pretty appealing looking. Another that? great one. This is the ultimate comfort food. This is, is called this a one? cheesy. Yes, it is. And what that is, it's really simple, is uh, that's two patties of beef, but it's four slices of cheese all mm -hmm. melted together on a buttered bun, kind of like a grilled cheese sandwich. Of course, we can add anything somebody wants to it, but sometimes simple is best when it comes to a burger. I was just thinking the same thing. It's simple and good, and that bun is <laughs> really easy to eat. So I'll keep on eating while you tell me what you're going to assemble there. Yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll look at this for a minute. You know, this is the, the, the what we call the classic, and um, it's just an all-American hamburger. This burger has uh, American cheese on it. I've added some bacon to it. We can add bacon to any burger that's out there. Mm -hmm. It has onions, pickles. We're going to put some lettuce on there and, of course, some uh, nice slices of tomato. And whenever you top that off, you've just got the all-American burger. And uh, who doesn't love that? Yeah, right there. That's that's pretty <laughs> classic. And um, you know, at your place, uh, there's kind of a throwback. You want to take people back to the time when they could sit and enjoy burgers a little bit. Uh, talk to us about the theme there, the philosophy. Yeah, way back, um, uh, we, we don't hide things uh, in the kitchen. Uh, we we basically are cooking on the floor, kind of like a, if you're if you're as old as I am, you might remember some of these types of counters sitting in the back of a drugstore, in the back of a department store, mm -hmm. where people would go in during lunch and they would be able to order a burger and fries or onion rings and uh, and sit and talk and uh, you know and listen to some classic oldie music maybe uh, but uh, that's what we do we make burgers the way people love them we can put a yeah. number of toppings on them and uh, made to order what you want so you you have you know a lot of the the promotions and, and all this excitement happening as we approach National Burger Day which is coming up too but tell us you know you invite anybody watching to come see you you want them to try your burger in person but do you have any advice for the grill masters at home, maybe uh, some inspiration for what they might create when they celebrate a burger. Yeah, two things that I would I would recommend to people who are who are making a burger. Maybe you're getting out on your grill. One thing that I see real commonly is is that people love to take that spatula and take and press that burger whenever they're cooking it. But no. Whenever you do that, you're, you're you're squeezing a lot of the juices and things that keep that burger tender and keep it tasty out of the burger. And so I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you like a dry burger. Okay, that settles a lot of arguments, though. <laughs> people think that that's part of the routine, and yeah. you say no no deal. So uh, Well, we appreciate that insight. Anything else a grill master should take home from the this? The other thing that I would do is that um, whenever you're cooking a burger, don't cook it, then put the cheese on. Leave the last 30 seconds of cooking time for it. That, again, keeps it from being um, you don't uh, want to overcook the burger because you're trying to melt the cheese. That's right. And so, uh, so, so save a little bit of time for your ch uh, cheese to melt on that burger at the end of the cooking time, not in addition to the cooking time. Agreed. I feel passionate about all, the, all this stuff with you. We really appreciate <laughs> the, the burger demonstration here. This is fantastic. Happy Burger Month. Well, for great. Sure. Thank you. And uh, we've got three locations in the upstate. Yep. We would love we'll to have that. people. Yep, we'll put that right up there. There are several <laughs> Wayback Burger locations in our area. We're going to link your website to, to accesscarolina.com. You're the franchisee of the store located at 1757 Woodruff Road. So, Philip, yep. people can come see you. Thanks again. We appreciate it. Thank you.